if I'd have paid a little bit more attention in school, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Patrick, I'm a manager here at Get Stuff Grocery Store. So tell us about your employees. Where do you want yeah. me to start? Barry and Tim, the only two guys who have to work together every single shift because they can't work with anybody else. We love, love our jobs. jobs. They came to me personally and asked to be put on the schedule every single time they work with each other. We, we have so much fun. fun. These guys do everything together. They go to lunch together, they carpool to work together, they hit on the same cashier together. But they are the best we have. I can't complain too much. George. Now that's a hire I regret. Yeah, I'd say I'm a pretty hard worker. I mean, when I tell him to do something, all he says is nonsense. Well, you know, that's why cats don't swim. Everybody knows Andrew's little bears. Well, I take that back. One time he did slap me. George, I told you to stay off motorized car. It's for handicapped customers only. Hey, Patrick. Patrick, <laughs> blow it at you. I honestly don't know why we keep him here. Yeah, it's a shoe fit. It's usually tied. Rick's, uh, you know, like... Hey, man, what's Rick, going what on? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Rick, we're doing something. What's the camera for? It's, it's interview, Rick. What are you doing? Don't get me wrong. Rick's a hard worker, but he just takes things way too seriously. How, wrong cow. How, 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 now, round cow. Hi, my name is Rick Johnson. I'm 20 years old. I graduated high school with a 4.0 GPA. And I've been working here for 92 days, 22 hours, 55 minutes. 56. He wants to be me way too bad. You're out? Why are you out? Get to work! I tried convincing the kid that trying to be me isn't the best idea and he won't have as much fun with it. But he's only been here three months and he treats the store like it's his. At this rate, you know, I'd say that I'm probably going to be manager, well, more likely general manager, in a year. I don't know what's wrong with this kid. You know, probably owner. You are the man. What? You are the best. Everybody will work for you. You are success. You are the man. Luke talks about salsa like Bubba Gump talked about shrimp. All right, look, my salsa business. I'm gonna. I'm doing the best I can right now. I've been practicing bottling. I've called a bunch of people. I'm getting it. Getting it all ready. Not kidding. This kid won't ever shut up about salsa. I got Rotel in my salsa, sliced tomatoes, some green chilies, get it get it all spiced up. Seriously. I can't tell you all my secret spices though, you know what I mean? A lot of people make it chunky, mine is silky smooth, you know what I mean? That's what's gonna draw people to buy it. Ninja. This is the kid's real name on his driver's license, he put it on his YouTube account. The kid, you, you'll never see him after he clocks in. He just, I don't know where he goes. I've never seen him until somebody asked me for a price and the kid jumps out of nowhere. Hey, how much is this week? Two for five! Sometimes I arm myself my cat just to be sure I'm not an alien. Don't ever talk to the kid. George says senseless things, but this kid just makes noises. Hey, what? Who's it? Who's that? Oh, uh, that, that's just Ninja. Oh, oh, okay. That's him. He is the epitome of my nightmares. Vince is one of those kids that really likes the word swag. Y'all check it. Y'all check it. So, my name is Vince, but my street name though, yo, my street name though, that's swagged out diamonds. Check the march out, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm also known as Sod. Vince thinks he's from the streets and he's a thug, but he grew up in a cul-de-sac in a subdivision. I'm not gonna lie to you. Haters think I'm a joke. He's a joke. But what people don't understand is, 
like I'm real, you know, I'm real. Minimum wage, <laughs> more like making banks, son. See these Ray-Bans right here? These Ray-Bans, first edition, you know what I'm saying? This right here, that's Gucci, you know? And I would have more of my swag t-shirts, you know? But like, you know, <laughs> I ran out of like Sharpie. Did he mention his glasses? Yeah, they're like $10. I should know, I bought them for him. He couldn't even afford it. And those grills, yeah, that's aluminum foil that he most likely stole from us. So, can you freestyle for us? <laughs> like, can I freestyle? You kind of put me on the spot, you know what I mean? So like, all right, let me freestyle for you a little bit. So like, uh, you know, like, I'm getting interviewed. Uh, you know, like, put me on the spot, y'all getting interviewed. I'm thirsty, drink some juicy juice. You know what I'm saying? That was tight, you get that? Did you? I'm pretty sure he's K-Fed. I can't say much about him, but he's kind of... So what's it like working here? So you think you're better than me? I hold like $200 in my hand every day. Hey Jordan, can I get you to come help me with something? Listen, I spend what you make weekly playing golf every day. I was just trying to like... I was just trying. I make way more money than you. You understand what I'm trying to say? I'm done with this interview. So you... Tell us about your employees. Tell us about you. I'm just a normal grocery store manager. All he does is complain and complain. Man, he complains, complains. You know what I mean? <laughs> complain, he complain. He's cheap. Cheaper than dirt. That's it. I'm done. I'm out here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. I quit. This stupid store. I'm done. Money, you know that money, though, you know? Ah. Come on home.